In today's Proof Without Words series, let's take a look at the Kochi Skewards Inequality. At its very fundamental definition, the Kochi Skewards Inequality states that the dot product of two vectors is always less than or equal to the product of norm of the two vectors. For our case today though, we are going to focus on Kochi Skewards Inequality in two dimensions. Namely, we are going to prove that the absolute value of ax plus by is less than square root of a square plus b square multiplied by square root of x square plus y square. We are given two diagrams separated by an inequality sign and two more lines of inequalities below the diagrams to start with. Let's focus our attention to the first diagram, box in red. If you look at the shape in the middle, bordered by four right angle triangles, we can see that the side lengths are given by the hypotenuses of the right angle triangles, which we obtain through Pythagoras theorem. The area of this parallelogram is square root of a square plus b square times square root of x square plus y square times sine alpha, where alpha is an angle subtended by the sides above. If you are wondering why this is true, note that we just split the parallelogram into two triangles and the prime sine rule to obtain the area. Anyway, the area of our green parallelogram is less than the area of our red rectangle which is given by square root of a square plus b square multiplied by square root of x square plus y square. From this, we can deduce that the left-hand side diagram, which consists of the parallelogram and four right angle triangles, has a smaller area than the right-hand side diagram, which consists of the rectangle and the same four right angle triangles. This gives us the first line of the inequality below the diagram. Note that we box up different parts of the inequality with different colors to give a better idea which area does each part of the inequality account for. Since there is too much clutter in this diagram, let's move to over to another page. Note that I retain the result we get from our earlier diagram. For the next step, we could first expand the brackets before simplifying and cancelling the like terms. Doing so allows us to obtain modulus a times modulus x plus modulus b times modulus y is lesser than the square root of a square plus b square multiplied by square root x square plus y square. And finally, we appeal to the triangle inequality and doing so, we obtain the Cauchy skewards inequality. For equality to occur, alpha needs to be 90 degree and by angle chasing, this happens when the two triangles are similar, which is when a divided by x equals b divided by y. Okay, this marks the end of the video and I hope to see you in the next one.